The Tanina archaeological site in southern Mexico is proving to be a treasure trove of pre-Columbian Maya relics, as a team of archaeologists working in the region recently unveiled a large number of carved stone masks worn by the ancient population. Tanina, meaning house of stone in the Tzeltal language, was originally called Po or Popo in classic Maya texts. The city is located at an altitude of 800 to 900 meters above mean sea level in the Chiapas highlands of southern Mexico, only 40 miles from the rival Maya city of Palenque. The two cities were often engaged in sporadic conflict, with Tanina emerging as the dominant polity in the western Maya lands. Tanina was first inhabited during the early Classic period, with most of the major construction taking place between the 6th and 9th centuries AD. The city consists of temple pyramids set on a series of terraces above a central platform, several ball courts, palaces, and over 100 carved monuments. During the time of the classic Maya collapse, Tanina was one of the last Maya polities to remain occupied past the terminal classic range, with evidence of an unnamed ruler being associated to a monument that dates from AD 904. Excavations at Tanina in 2013 uncovered a large collection of stucco Maya masks and various representations in stucco and sculptures, buried in a structure southeast of the sunken plaza of the Palacio de los Caracoles. The artifacts were preserved and placed in storage at Tanina, with the discovery only now being announced after a period of ongoing study. Researchers from INAH have dated the masks to around AD 650 to 700 and suggest that they represent the themes of the underworld, the earth, and the sky. A similar mask was discovered more recently in 2018 at the Temple of the Sun, located due south of the main plaza. This mask is a representation of the Lord of the Underworld, with such depictions often being shown without a lower jaw to indicate that they are dead. Archaeologist Yadian Angulo hopes to hold temporary exhibitions to show the public the collection of masks, along with collections of full-body sculptures of ruling gods and representations of scenes from the Popolvo myth. This newly unveiled collection of stucco masks only further demonstrates the importance of these beliefs. These faces, these portraits, look at us from the past. Their gaze transports us to the royal court of the ancient and powerful Mayan kingdom of Poe.